I am Dr. Rana Chaudhary from Angkor Fertility Clinic, Mumbai. Today I will be discussing low AMH or anti-mullerian hormone. Women usually ovulate one egg per month. They get pregnant. When this egg gets fertilized by the sperm, becomes an embryo and implants into the uterus. Unlike men who continually produce sperms, women are born with a lifetime supply of eggs. There are approximately 2 million eggs in the ovaries and around 11,000 of them die every month prior to puberty. Thus, the women lose eggs continuously throughout their life till menopause. AMH or anti hormone is basically a hormone produced by the primary follicles. These are small clusters of cells which surround the immature eggs in the women's ovary. An AMH test is the best biochemical marker for a women's ovarian reserve. The test itself is a hormonal blood test that estimates the number of eggs at rest in a woman's ovary. An AMH test may be requested for a woman who is planning for infertility treatment along with other markers of ovarian reserve such as the ultrasound, enteral follicular assessment or an FSH. As a fertility specialist, it gives me an idea what the ovary is capable of in context of fertility treatments. It also creates the opportunity to personalize a strategy to achieve the best possible individualized treatment outcomes. This can determine what kind of fertility treatment will be required, either an IVF cycle or an egg freezing and how successful these treatments are likely to be. However, it is important to remember that an AMH does not predict your chances of natural conception in the near future. It does not change during your menstrual cycle unlike the other hormonal tests like the follicle stimulating hormone or the FSH so the blood sample can be taken at any time of the month even when you are on oral contraceptives. The cost of the test is approximately 1800 to 2000 rupees. We need to understand that AMH is not a measure of the egg quality but it is the best estimation of the quantity. It can infer how many eggs can be expected to develop in a fertility treatment cycle. It is important to interpret the AMH results in the context of other factors that may affect your fertility like your husband's semen count and other such factors. A common question among women is what is the healthy range of the AMH test? This AMH value can vary widely even among fertile women. The level of AMH in the blood helps estimate the number of follicles inside the ovary. A typical AMH level for a fertile woman is anywhere between 2.2 to 4 nanograms per ml. The optimal level would be above 4 and between 6.8 nanograms per ml. Below 0.3 to 2.2 we consider it low and levels less than 0.3 are considered very low and these are indicative of diminished ovarian reserve. Low MH does not necessarily need to be considered as a standalone criteria and is not associated with the reduced monthly chances of you getting pregnant. However, if the woman has got a complex or multifactorial infertility, a low level can of course reduce your chances of having a baby. Coming to what are the factors which would contribute to a low MH? Age is the most important factor. It affects every women's level. From birth, we women are already born with all the eggs that will be released during the lifetime. This starting number is genetically determined and can vary between women. However, whatever is be the standpoint, her ovarian reserve will dramatically reduce over a period of time. Eggs steadily get lost until the age of 30 years. After this time, the rate of loss increases further, especially after 35 years. And this could be one of the predictors that contributes to the low chances of live birth in the older women. However, age is not always a factor. Some women continue to have high AMH levels even in their 40s, while others have a declining AMH levels even in their 20s and 30s. This could be due to various factors like environmental factors, inherited genetic conditions, as well as stress. It is important to find out the age of menopause in her family because it is often a good guide to the rate of her own fertility decline. Low ovarian reserve is when there is a physiological decrease in the number of eggs resulting in insufficient number to ensure a reasonable chance of pregnancy. Generally, it is caused by the aging ovaries. Patients can also have diminished ovarian reserve but then we are surprised that these patients have regular ovarian function that is they menstruate regularly. What could basically be the symptoms? Having low age does not necessarily present with any obvious symptoms but yes sometimes you may notice a reduction or an absence in the periods getting an amh blood test is the best way for assessing your amh levels
Women often ask me, can I get pregnant with low MH values? Well, women under the age of 35 can still get pregnant with a low MH level. This may not be true for older women since there are different factors that affect fertility and all of this come into play. In addition, women with diminished ovarian reserves often have a greater risk of miscarriage while conceiving via an IVF or test tube baby with their own eggs because of the lower egg quality. How does it affect? What happens with the low AMH? Is it per se not the cause of infertility, but it is an indication of decreased egg reserve. When there are fewer developing eggs in the ovary, the chances of having a mature and healthy egg being released and fertilized decreases. In age-related low AMH, the quality of the eggs may also be affected as the eggs get accumulated and there are mutations over a period of time. This may mean that the chances of abnormal fertilization and miscarriage are increased. AMH value does not indicate the quality of eggs like I said before. Age is the best indicator of egg quality. Lifestyle factors like being overweight, smoking, exposure to environmental toxins may affect your egg quality adversely. What could be done to improve the egg quality? Well, just like all your healthy foods, improving your overall health can help improve your eggs, stay healthy and boost your fertility. Obesity has been found to alter the mitochondrial function and increase the oxidative stress leading to reduced fertility and egg quality. Hence, at Ankur Fertility Clinic, there is special emphasis given to lifestyle modification and weight reduction. We have an in-house dietitian who also customizes the diet as per the patient and the diagnosis. Having a balanced healthy diet with plenty of proteins, avoiding foods known to be high in carbohydrates, sugars, avoiding nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, along with regular exercise has a positive impact on the egg quality. anti hormone naturally decreases with age and is a result of the decrease in the number of eggs in the ovary. We do not have any particular AMH type or formula which should increase your AMH or the number of eggs. What we can do is take a proactive action. If I see a patient and she has low AMH and has come to me with a history of infertility, I would be more inclined to consider recommending advanced treatment sooner. I would also discuss family planning strategies if she wishes to have more than one child in future, like offering her freezing her embryos. Coming to what is the treatment of low AMH? Treatment plan for these women with low AMH most likely involve giving DHEA or dihydroepiandosterone supplementation and antioxidants. DHEA has been shown to be effective in improving the IVF pregnancy rates and also reducing the miscarriage rates. Several studies have suggested an improvement in the pregnancy rates. The potential mechanisms include improved in the follicular steroidogenesis, increase in the insulin-like growth factor 1 and acting as a pre-hormone for the follicular testosterone as well as reducing the aneuploidies. Antioxidants help in preventing the further damage to the gamete that is the eggs. Women with low MH typically benefit from a well-managed and a custom-designed IVF protocol. Many women ask me if they can go ahead with an IVF cycle with, with low AMH. We all understand that better the AMH, more are the eggs collected in an IVF stimulation. If there are more eggs to fertilize, there will be a better selection of embryos to transfer. However, even with low AMH, it is not a contraindication for IVF. The couple needs to be explained about the possibility of getting lesser eggs, or sometimes even no eggs or embryos. As a general guideline, the enteral follicular count can be used to determine the likelihood of success of ovarian stimulation and IVF and may be used as a guide for dosing the fertility medicines also. Can low image cause miscarriage? When? Well, yes, there are studies which say that when a fertilized egg does not get separated correctly, it can lead to miscarriages or chromosomal disorders such as Down syndrome. The association between low AMH and miscarriage might be particular to the spontaneous and unexplained miscarriages. Pre-implantation genetic screening may counterbalance the miscarriage risk amongst these women. This does not mean that women with low AMH should not undergo IVF. What if the AMH level is too low for IVF? Very low AMH level that is below 1 nanograms per ml and undetectably low AMH levels which are below 0.3 nanograms per ml well in these cases also we may try one or two cycles of IVF with self eggs with prior use of adjuvants like antioxidants, DHEA 
and other methods for optimization of the gametes. Donor egg IVF, that is donor oocyte IVF, can be considered as an option in these failed patients. Thank you.